Hello everybody and welcome back to my playlist on the Channel Mum YouTube. Today I'm going to be talking about a subject that I am still learning to deal with but have learnt to cope with over the last few months. So that subject is learning to let go as a single parent and how to deal with the guilt you feel as you let go and enjoy some new time. So for me, I, I had to let go a lot earlier than I thought I would have to because Isla and um, Tom and I, Isla's dad, we broke up when Isla was two months old and decided pretty quickly that we were obviously going to split our time with her and she would live with me and then she would see her dad once on a weekday for a couple of hours and then overnight on a weekend. So for me, that was a big thing to get my head around to get my head around not being with her all of the time because I had left her a couple of times in the past with my mum um, for a couple of birthdays and things like that but I'd never really been overwhelmed about the situation I'd done it because you know you do need to have a break and you do need to enjoy yourself but I'd always found it really really hard and it had not been a full day it had been just before we'd gone out we would have dropped her and then we would have picked her up first thing in the morning. So for me being without her for a full 24 hours was alien and it was very very scary but we both knew that it would obviously be the best thing for everyone to have shared time with her and so her and her dad can build a relationship and also so I could have a break which I think I say you know Oh, it's really nice to have a break sometimes and people go oh, a break from your child you have a break and I'm like yeah I have a break and I feel like the worst person in the world for using a break or a day off you know the sentences you know what what is the best way to describe being away from your child it's hard but it is a break because you don't have to worry about going to the shower and someone screaming at you for five minutes whilst you're in there and you can turn around for two minutes and not have to constantly have eyes in the back of your head so yeah I would say it's a bit of a break and as a single parent I mean as a even as a couple being a parent is is really hard it's very full-on but as a single parent it is 24 7 I don't really have any other help apart from Tom and obviously my mum is very full on with Isla but a majority of the time it is just 24-7 me and her and that can get very very tough. It can take a toll on the way you're feeling and also I think it can take a toll on your relationship with your child because sometimes it gets to the end of the week the day before Tom has her and as bad as it sounds I do I'm starting to learn to look forward to my time on my own because for me when I have that 24 hour period where I can be 21 and I can go out with my friends and I can enjoy myself without having to worry about someone else the next day when I pick her up I feel refreshed I feel energized and I am ready for the week again and I feel I feel like it does make me a better a better mum it makes me able to be a better mum because I know that at the end of the week I will have this time span where I can just blow off some steam, I can sleep, I can eat what I want, when I want, I can do what I want. And it sounds really bad, I think a lot of people will probably be, oh god you, you enjoy being away from her and I don't enjoy being away from her at all, I, I miss her every second, sorry, every second of the time I'm not with her I miss her, but whether I was out with my friends or I was at home, I wouldn't be spending my time with her. She would be with her dad. So for me, the first few months was full of guilt and it was full of emotion and it was full of tears when I wasn't with her. And I wasn't enjoying my time when I wasn't with her. I was wasting it on being miserable that I wasn't with her. And I sat down to myself one night and I thought, what are you doing? You need to go out and you need to enjoy yourself and make the most of this time this precious, precious you time that you don't get much of in the week because at the moment Isla isn't sleeping very well, she's not going down to bed very early so 
by the time I've actually got her settled for bed, I'm ready for bed, so it's not even like I've got the evenings to myself at the moment. So you do just have to learn to enjoy yourself and to not feel so bad about being something other than a parent because being a mother or a father, it doesn't define you as a person. You are still you, you still have your own life that you need to lead and this is another thing when I decided that I would be going back to work. I am going back to work hopefully at the end of September. Um, I decided for myself that I needed to do that. I needed to do two days at work doing something that I really love that is for me and as hard as it's going to be and it does break my heart there is other reasons I have to go back to work but the main reason is that I am choosing to go back to work but you know it it's really it's going to be really tough because it's not only going to be splitting my time with Isla between me and Tom it's also going to be then splitting her time between me Tom and nursery so I have been very very lucky I've been off for six and a half months off work now I have spent every minute that I could of that with Isla I you know I love every every day with her is so so special to me and I know now that time is so, so precious and it flies by. She is six months and two weeks old and I just look back at newborn photos and it feels like yesterday. And that is a very, very scary feeling because they just grow up so, so fast. And I almost feel like, have I done enough? Have I loved you enough? Have I been there enough for you? Am I being the best mother I can possibly be? And parenthood is so full of guilt. There is so much guilt and there's so much questioning of yourself. I've never questioned myself so much in my life as I do now. Every single day I'm thinking, have I done this right? Have I done that right? And sometimes you need to be a little bit easier on yourself because everyone is different as a parent. Everyone does things differently. Some people, you know, single parents do things differently to parents that are together and sometimes mums do things differently to dads do them but either way if you've got a happy and healthy child then you're doing a perfect job so for me the last few months have been a whirlwind of learning and life lessons that I never imagined I would have learned in such a short space of time and I feel like it's made me grow up in ways that I never would have grown up before it's taught me a lot about my relationship with my daughter and the love I have for her. It's absolutely mind-boggling how you can feel about another person and loving something more than you love yourself is just absolutely amazing. And although I feel this guilt in my in my in the back of my mind and in my heart, my heart wrenches sometimes the amount of guilt I feel that me and Tom aren't together, that I'm not with her, that I have to go back to work that, you know, just all these different things that I feel guilty for that I can't really control. Um, you just have to learn to, to deal with it and to put it to the back of your mind and to accept that you can't, you know, the things I feel guilty for are things I cannot change. They're things I have no control over and things that I couldn't possibly do any differently if I wanted to so for me it's guilt that isn't isn't really valid because I'm feeling it because I'm mother and that's one of the emotions you feel as a mother but it's a feeling that I can't control and it's a thing that I can't control so it is just learning to manage it and to realize that although you're feeling guilt you're actually not doing anything wrong by having some time to yourself you're not doing anything wrong by letting your child spend time with her father or her mother. You're not doing anything wrong by sharing because Tom and Isla, they have a really, really beautiful relationship. She absolutely adores him. And when he walks to the door to pick her up, he, uh, she knows exactly who he is and she gives him the biggest smiles. And it's, it's lovely that she is gonna have such a strong relationship with the both of, it, both of us as she grows up. And she has two very happy parents who love her. And at the end of the day, what more what more matters if she's happy and she's loved then she's the luckiest little girl in the world so thank you very much for watching this video my ramblings on my emotions towards 
motherhood and guilt and letting go. If you like this video, then give it a thumbs up and also subscribe. It can get very exhausting and it can